channel thank you so much for tuning in today if you're new to my channel welcome my name is Rajay this is all things fun all things fashion all things shady this is just um, a step out of the real world we're going through so much right now and this is just a breath of fresh air so if you want to be a part of all the fun give us a big thumbs up that big beautiful red subscribe button smash the red subscribe button and click the bell for notification access and um throw a comment down in the comment section and you're automatically in so guys without further ado let's get straight into the mid fashion <laughs> In America, Alexicana fashion. This year, Met Gala was a lackluster. It was not giving what it's supposed to give. I think the fashions were severely watered down. A lot of persons did not really interpret the theme. And I may. Let me just throw the video down in the description below. So if you haven't watched my review of the Met carpet, you can do so. Um, guys, we all know that Rihanna is undoubtedly the queen of the Met Gala. She has been invited about nine times to the Met. And um, her fashions have been so revolutionary. Rihanna is literally a fashion icon. Um, all of her Met looks has been, I don't know, Rihanna is just, she carries the weight of the Met. So I think that is why a lot of persons were a bit disappointed with her outfit that she wore this year. Get into that in a bit. And uh, yeah, she's, she's literally the queen of the world. Fancy beauty. She stormed the makeup industry, Fancy beauty. She stormed the fashion industry. She's now a billionaire. She's literally a walking miracle, guys. So let's get into all of this look so that we can have something fun to remember about the Met Gala. Because the one on Monday, oh my god. Um, our wigs were snatched, not in a good way. Our edges were torn out. Our eyeballs rolled to the floor and we all died. So let's get to something that we can actually look forward to. Alright, guys. So um, Rihanna's first Met Ball was back in 20. 2007 and the Met Gala theme for that year was Parade, King of Fashion. If you, um, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing the name right, I think it's French. If you don't, miss, if you don't know Mr. Parade, he's actually an iconic designer. Not going to go into all the details, but they were honoring honoring him at the 2007 Met Gala. Rena was invited for the first time. She wore a George's chaffer gown with silver embellishments paired with a mesh gloves. Now, this look, let me throw it up here. It's beautiful, it's giving simple Rihanna days, the mesh, gloves added a bit of drama along with the silver embellishment. It's red of course, so a little cleavage has to be shown. Very beautiful, simple hair, simple makeup. And this was actually giving back in the day, like, yeah, this was actually, this was the dress at the Met in 2007. She donned out a red rose as well for accessory. The carpet is not as cute as it is now because the Met was actually developing. To be as iconic as it is now so don't watch the carpeting and the railings and the backdrop is so awful but it trust me it gets better this is inside the mesh she's serving very beautiful as well and you know rihanna iconic always seen in the show as per usual as she should so yeah 
So the Stefan McBall that Rihanna attended was in 2019 and the theme was Model as a Muse Embodying Fashion. Now in this year Rihanna chose Dolce and Gabbana. Um, this is a pantsuit actually with a bow tie with a beautiful black stiletto. I love the puppy sleeve for elbow arm, um, the sleeve area right here, shoulder pads rather for drama. I love that she did a side top here. She was always doing that iconic short side top here with the brown highlights. Her eyes are popping, leather gloves, and nobody does it like Rihanna. She looks so beautiful, and it's just pouring to see ladies in pantsuits. So, yeah, this is literally iconic. Very beautiful. Always serving, and bad girl read. This time when we read in a fair bad girl stage, you know. So, yeah. The next Met Ball that she attended was in 2011. The Met Gala team was Alexander McQueen, Savage Beauty, and there's nobody in the world as savage as Rihanna. Um, this beautiful contraption of a gown is actually a Stella McCartney gown. And Rihanna, like, when you know so when Rihanna do call that ear, she has to serve, like, hey! Oh, you know when we're in the color here, she actually has served this beautiful red moment, ginger looking moment. This is so like she made us love how sheer the gown is and it just falls to the side, half the shoulder, the shoes, the bright bold lip. Uh, I can't, like, Rihanna literally, she's literally the savior of fashion. Look, so beautiful. So gorgeous, and I love that they did an illusion mesh at the side so that it looks as if the go the, the, the gun was actually sticking to her body, but there was actually an illusion mesh at the side holding everything together. And she's just poised and beautiful as usual, and yeah, literally iconic. The next Met Ball that she attended was back in 2012, where the theme was um, Caparelli and Prada Impossible Conversation. And she donned a Tom Ford gown. This looks a bit, you know, like crocodile pattern. This has a bit of a leathery look. I love the hair. It's very simple makeup. Because Rihanna is, oh, we, are, we always used to sort of full beat and glam for her. So this is actually, set, um, the makeup is very reduced here. Very simple. She let the dress did all the talking. It's very beautiful. Full rolling cocktail gown as well. And the patterning, Tom Ford always creates some beautiful gown. This is very beautiful, like I love this moment for her. With a with a split at the back and a little back moment. Okay girl showing skin. Fun fact she has majority of these looks in archives today. So good that she has these beautiful garments so that in the near future they can be sent to a museum or she can use them for reference to do whatever it is that she wanted to do. So this is actually a good look. So good. Alright, so in 2014, the next Met Ball that she went to. Um, the theme was um, Charles James, Beyond Fashion, and Rihanna wow the carpet in this beautiful Stella McCartney um, dress. This is, well, this is not really a dress, this is a blouse and a skirt, but I love the drama skirt with a train. You guys know I live for a train. I love that, this crop top moment for a blouse. I love the tuckled hair, the messy bun, rather, here, and she paired it with a diamond choker. Only Rihanna does this. Like Rihanna, I swear. Um, the Met Gala is a little bit better in terms of look at the background. The carpet is better, the setting is better. She's beautiful. Like, oh my god, like. When she wore this, she literally stopped the carpet. Everybody was jammed and said, Home. Oh. As you know, Rihanna is the hope of fashion. You know that she's always showing skin. So, of course, the back is going to be out. This beautiful train moment, and this was literally legendary and iconic. So, good for her, very good. I like this one. No, this is one of my um, most favorite years at the Met Gala, one of my favorite scenes. And this is one of the most iconic dress in the world. This is one of the most iconic dress to ever grease the red carpet, and this is the most iconic dress that. Um, is associated with the Met Gala. Well, the Met Gala was famous and everybody knew the Met Gala, but the night Rihanna wore this gown 
the Met Gala was amplified times 10 and everybody wanted to watch the Met Gala. Even if you hate fashion and you don't care and you don't care about the celebrity and the culture and whatever, this dress got everybody attention. Now, this is one of my personal favorite team. This was back in 2015 when the team was trying to throw the looking glass and Rihanna found this beautiful beast on the internet. Let me just throw it up right now. Oh my god, I love this beautiful cake gown that she wore. She was the last on the carpet because fun fact, she felt so idiotic because she was saying like, was I doing too much? But I guess that doing too much paid off because she was like, I bet nobody's going to show up in such a big dress. Why me a fear do it and she did it and it's literally, she was the queen of the night with this beautiful dress. This dress was made by Go Pei, a Chinese couturier. And um, this was hand sewn, yes, it was, and this took two years to make. Literal iconic. The memes are hilarious though, because you know that they, they compare this to an omelette and whatever, but Rena was the only one they were talking about at the end of the night. This was literally iconic, and the team was um, about China, and she was actually the only one that wore an actual Chinese design to the carpet. So she was the team, and it was literally iconic. Fun fact, um, the, um, the dress is now back with GoPay in a museum. Let me throw up the picture so you can actually pay to go and see the dress up close. She sent back the garment. So, yeah, this is forever iconic. So, are we dressed up? We all was dyed and buried, and that, that's just the end of it. Like, we were living for that moment. So, iconic. The next year Rihanna went to the Met Gala was in 2017 where the theme for that year was Rekao Kuba from the Garson. Now, Art of Industry, now we're going to the party. Rekao Kuba, Rekao Kuba from the Garson, the Art of Industry. Now, Rihanna again, she, she showed last on the carpet, once more wowing everybody. Because what? She actually wore a piece designed by Rekao Kuba in the Comedy Garçons um, exhibition. Now look on this dress. Oh my god. Look on the eye makeup. Look on the bang with the hair. Look on the shoes. Fun fact the shoes took about a full hour to get right. And this was one of her crowning moments on the Met Gala as well. Literal iconic. I can't. I, can. I cannot. At first when I saw this I did not really appreciate the look at first because I was like this was too much, but when I really did my research and I and I I'm a dive down into the look, I'm a start to pull everything apart and analyze the concept and everything. This is this one of her most iconic looks to do. Like Rekal Kuba girl, like everybody interpreted the theme in her own way. She actually wore the theme because even though she had all this garment when you went inside in the exhibition, this was actually on a mannequin for display in the mess already. So it, it does not get more iconic than this. Like literally iconic. I love this look. Guys, then sound off down in the comments below which one of these years were your like the favorite. Sound off in the comments down below, guys. Which one of the Met years were your favorite? What dress left you gag? What dress snatched your wig? Cause I didn't look here. That's my wig. That's weird. Like my edges, my eyeballs, my eyes, my mouth, my nose. Snap. All right. So this is one of my favorite years as well. This. Year, every, that year everybody interpreted interpreted the team very well everybody served the look like literally everybody looked good that year because the team wasn't that hard so yeah and, and I'm talking about everyone's favorite team so far 2018 um, the team was Kevin Lebaudi's fashion and the Catholic imagination as you guys know um, the Met was honoring um, the Catholics the Roman Catholics and their inspiration on, on fashion or the inspired fashion community and of course, Rena was a legendary co-chair of this year with Amal Clooney, Donatella Versace, Anna Wintour, and the list goes on. Rena also snatched our edges in this beaded ensemble. No, guys. This look is literally iconic because this was designed by one of my favorite designers, John Galliano. Um, it was hand beaded and took about 240 hours to make. Fun fact, 
um, to make the hat stand out, she actually flew in the Moon Roberts, a makeup artist that is legendary in Hollywood just to bleach her eyebrows. So the color of her skin to the hat would stand out. So she spared no expense with this look. Um, fun fact, three of this dress were created. The rest of them, all of them are known in archives. A black one was created, this gray one, and a this no, this I think this was green. This was like a light green. So a black one, a green one, and this. So three of these dresses were created, and she surprised the carpet by wearing this one. So this was very good for her. And literal iconic. Like guys, look this. Her show was actually early this year because on this year because he was a coach here and the coach here is after arriving from the gate so he stayed the carpet left us jams with our mouth on the floor as well this this year this is inside the exhibition she definitely made nail the scene because this is one of the looks from the exhibition the catholic ex exhibition of course it's a dress that is similar to hers with the pope hat and again our edges are stacked so i can as the last but not least the Met Gala that happened on Monday 2021 I know all of the theme is American Independence in America a lexicon of fashion um, we're gonna show up with her boyfriend Aesop Rocky looking comfy and Aesop in our pills everybody was pissed and said that Rihanna looks a mess and stuff like that this this is a low ball for her however this dress is literally iconic here's why um, nobody um, do, does it like Rihanna this is Balenciaga hot Couture, as I was explaining, this is her mix of um, street wear with a hot couture. Also, she was working for all the immigrants, and there is nothing more um, American than immigrants because a lot of immigrants make America what it is today. Because Rihanna is an immigrant, um, Nicki Minaj, all of those iconic artists that are leaving their marks and footprints in America weren't born in America, they were born outside and flew to America for maybe better opportunity or just to live. So, American history is covered in um, immigrant footprints. So I love the reference. I love this dress. I love the choker. I love the beanie moments with the beautiful crystal diamond head cover underneath. And it was just amazing. Let me just throw up the after party look. The after party look was literally legendary. Um, streetwear again at its finest. Anything bad girl we really put on, we have to sell it after work. This is literally legendary. I cannot. I am gagged. I am deceased. And I can't. This is her with Ace of Rocky. Of course, again, Ace of Rocky looks to me as per usual. And yeah, guys, which one of the, which one of the male of the most? Alright, guys, so um, let me just pick out my three most favorite looks of all so my favorite look of all number one goes to china to the looking glass where she wears this um gold page dress so this is the golden beast that's my number one my number two is the jan galliano beaded gown heavenly bodies fashion and the catholic imagination i love this ensemble and the third one that i love so much is actually the comedy garçons um ensemble and this was just a masterpiece guys what's your fave again sound off in the comments down below now guys thank you so much for tuning in and i hope you guys are staying safe um social distancing wearing your mask and just doing your part to ensure the world is a safe place you guys know that i'm going to encourage you every chance i get and yeah serving you a little cute Herbal scarf moment, my hair is a mess, I haven't pulled my hair in a month, but now that's about to change real soon. I have a few tricks up my sleeve, but anyways guys, thank you so much for watching, follow me on Instagram at j underscore j, that's j-h-a-a-e underscore j-h-a-a-e guys, continue subscribing guys, and I love you so much for watching, and see you on the next video, bye!